Hello everybody and welcome to the Qubrid training channel. Today we'll be talking about uh, Uniform Server for Qubrid. I'm going to tell you what uh, Uniform Server is, uh, is all about, how it works and uh, how to use it. And also I'm gonna uh, tell you some basic concepts of, about uh, how to customize uh, an Uniform Server uh, distribution. So let's uh, start. First of all, let's see what Uniform Server is all about. Let's go to the uh, home page for Uniform Server. Here we are. Here we can find all the all the details uh, about this uh, software. To put it very simply, uh, Uniform Server is a Windows, Apache, uh, MySQL, um, PHP uh, distribution. There are many such distributions available on the internet for both Windows and Linux. Uh, why uh, Uniform Server? Why? What's so special about Uniform Server? Well, Uniform Server has some uh, some advantages which makes a difference when compared to, to other distributions. First of all, uh, Uniform Server distribution is uh, is all about distributing uh, a zip file and uh, and nothing else. All you need in order to run. Um, uh, um, uh, the applications which are being packed in the distribution uh, are contained in the in the zip file. So distributing it's very easy. Installing is just about extracting the files in the zip file and running some some batch command files. And uninstalling is uh, just a matter of of deleting uh, uh, the files. Another thing is that. Uh, Uniform Server already comes uh, prepacked with uh, many uh, with many applications. You can find uh, all of them here on the SourceForge um, uh, download um, uh, side. If you go to the bottom of a page, you will see a lot of, uh, of uh, distributions uh, which you can download and and uh, and run. Uh, also, uh, it's very uh, important to say that uh, customizing a uniform server is not uh, is not difficult at all, and uh, these are the reasons why we choose to to prepare uh, some uniform server distribution coming with Kubrid and with uh, Kubrid applications uh, as well. So I'm going to show you one of such uh, uniform server distributions. Uh, you can download from the Kubrid uh, website. It's a distribution which comes by default uh, with Kubrid uh, database and uh, SQL body for Kubrid. So, uh, let's take a look. This uh, zip file is uh, contains everything uh, uh, you need in order to run uh, the applications. I have already uh, unpacked the um, uh, this file in a, in a in a folder on my computer. Here we are. Um, first uh, thing you will notice is that uh, we, uh, inside the distribution there are some batch files which will allow you to perform uh, the operations you need. Basically, to start the database, start the uh, Apache web server, and even start some uh, utilities like C uh, SQL, which is a Kubrid uh, command line uh, utility. So let's take a quick uh, look. So after unpacking um, uh, the distribution in the folder, all you have to do is open a command uh, line and uh, execute the, the batch files. We'll, we'll have to start with uh, Kubrid. So we'll be running uh, Kubrid start uh, batch. In the meantime, let's take a look in the, in the batch. Uh, here you can see all the commands which are being run. The services are being started, the, the, the broker, uh, the demo DB is up and running after running uh, this batch file. Similar commands are available also for starting the, uh, the Apache web server and opening um, the default uh, uh, home pages that are defined. Let's get back to our command. Here you can see uh, everything um, was okay. We have all the informations available regarding the services and the processes. Uh, next step. Next step is just start the server. So we're gonna use a server start bat command. 
let's do it and here we are the default uh, the home page uh, uh, which was defined for this uh, distribution is uh, automatically open uh, in your browser here you see that uh, this uh, particular distribution uh, comes with um, with uh, a Kubrit um, database and a Kubrit uh, application. From here you can open your applications uh, and uh, just um, uh, um, run it as as in a usual uh, installation. Now let's uh, let's close this web page. Let's now uh, do, do the reverse. Uh, let's uh, stop the server. The server has been stopped. And now, finally, let's uh, stop also the, uh, the Kubernetes uh, um, processes. The, the database is being stopped, uh, all the processes, the servers, and also the temporary files which, which were uh, created are being deleted as well. Now if we want to, to clean uh, completely this machine all we have to do is uh, basically uh, just delete all the files uh, from here and uh, that's it. Uh, this is the, the, un uninst um, the installation procedure. Um, one thing which is uh, uh, really important uh, why uh, do we recommend the uh, uniform server um, uh, especially when you want to do quickly demo an application uh, this is the the fastest ways to uh, to, to show to your uh, customer or to your clients or to your friends what Kubrid, uh, what uh, Kubrid uh, is all about what are the Kubrid uh, uh, technologies uh, how Kubrid uh, enabled web application works uh, uniform server uh, will allow to do it uh, very easily and and uh, just uh, and you'll be able to distribute uh, your database, uh, your application, uh, like I said, just as a zip uh, file. Now let's take a look about um, how exactly will you be able to customize your Uniform Server distribution. We are not going into details right now. You can find more details on the Uniform Server website. Uh, we encourage you to, to, to experiment yourself. So uh, you have to take care of two things. First of all, it's your um, uh, Kubernetes installation. This is the path where, uh, where the servers and the database uh, can be found. And this is our, uh, our uh, Kubernetes installation. So if you want to use a newer version, all you have to do is just to overwrite uh, all the files which are found here in the, in the Kubernetes folder and uh, distribution. If you need to, to put uh, to deploy your um, Kubernetes enabled web application, you will go here in this folder. And this is where you find uh, your applications. You will have to customize uh, uh, the index page uh, uh, so that it points to, to the home page uh, uh, you want. And here is our uh, Kubernetes application. You can add as many applications uh, as you want in here. Uh, then when you are done, you will just have to, to, to achieve uh, everything, prepare your zip and just uh, deploy it. So it's not uh, really difficult at all to, to customize um, such a distribution. Remember that uh, uh, if you need support and uh, you want to find out uh, more about how to do things, just uh, visit uh, us on the, on the, on the Kubernetes.org uh, website. Um, that's pretty much uh, it for today. We hope you enjoyed the, the training. Uh, remember, we, we always welcome your suggestions, your feedback for uh, improving um, uh, these presentations. So uh, visit us and uh, tell us uh, what do you think. Thank you very much and bye-bye. Uh,